डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट हैव अ नाइस डे माय सेल्फ किरण पटेल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन स्कूल ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस ऑफ डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी अहमदाबाद गुजरात डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द कोर्स आर डीबीएमएस रिलेशनल डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इन टूडेज सेशन वी विल लर्न अबाउट ब्लॉक थ्री ओरेकल सर्वर एंड एस क्यू एल इन विच द यूनिट वन इज द स्ट्रक्चर क्वेरी लैंग्वेज दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द यूनिट वन इन ब्लॉक थ्री नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद द ब्लॉक थ्री यूनिट वन इज अ स्ट्रक्चर क्वेरी लैंग्वेज हियर वी सी द एजेंडा ऑफ द यूनिट वन इन ब्लॉक थ्री फ्रॉम दिस एजेंडा इन अ फर्स्ट सेशन वी हैव बीन ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द एसक्यूएल डेटा टाइप्स SQL statement like DDL, DML, DCL, TCL, and data definition statement like create table, alter table with add, modify, and drop command, rename, truncate, and comment command. In today's session, we will discuss with the remaining topics like constraint in details with the example. Now we start with the constraint. it is an important topics in database data constraint determines the speed at which the data can be inserted or extracted from the table the constraint are the rules enforce on the data columns on the table using the data constraint we store the proper data in the database the data constraint is defined at a column level and or a table level the column level constraint are applied only one column and at the time of the column is declared whereas the table level constraint are applied to the whole table and it is applied at the end of the table there are two types of the data constraint first one is the io constraint means the input output constraint and second one is the business rules constraint now we see the first io constraint this data constraint used when the data can be inserted or uh, inputted or extracted or fetch the data from the table there are two types of the io constraint first is the primary key constraint and second one is the foreign key constraint now we see the first one is the primary key constraint the primary key is used to uniquely identify each row in the table primary key must be a unique value and not null means the column we define as the primary key it contains a unique value and null or a blank are not allowed the primary key create on a single column is called the simple key and it will create on a multiple column is called the composite primary key it is not a compulsory but it is a recommended it helps to identify or differentiate one record from the another record it is also help in relating the table with the another table using primary key we can easily fetch the proper unique records from the table there are two ways to define a primary key in the table first is the column level and second one is the table level see the primary key define at a column level here the primary key is defined at the time of the column is declared the create table student student is a table name in the bracket roll number is the column name is contain roll number contain only numeric value so its data type is a number and size is 3 
it is a primary key means the data in a roll number column does not repeated or duplicated or cannot be null it contains the unique data next column is the aadhar card number aadhar card number column is contain the unique value or it contains the numeric value so we can define as a number in the bracket 12 size is 12 we can also make the primary key to aadhar card number because it also contain the unique value thus we can make the primary key either to the roll number or the aadhar number choice is yours now the third column is a name name contains the alphabets so its data type is a varchar 2 and size is 10 means the name column contains the maximum 10 character then the bracket over and at the end of the command put the semicolon see in the figure roll number is a primary key it contains the unique value and it cannot be null or a blank otherwise error will be generated here this is not allowed null value is not allowed this is the correct table and this one is not correct if the roll number is a primary key now see the primary key defined at the table level here the primary key is defined at the end of the table is defined all the column is defined then after primary key is defined the primary key can be created on a multiple column using table level for example create table student in the bracket roll number number size 5 then comma aadhar number number and the bracket 12 name column data type is varchar 2 and size is 10 at the table level primary key is defined like primary key in the bracket and roll number comma aadhar number this both column is become a primary key here we make the combination of two column roll number and aadhar number is become a primary key now we add the primary key on existent table means the table is already created after that we make the primary key in the table means we create the primary key in existent table then alter add command is used for example alter table student add primary key in the bracket roll number so the in the student table roll number become a primary key or roll number add in the student table as a primary key here the student table is already created and then after we add the primary key to the roll number column now we remove the primary key from the table for this we use the alter drop command for example alter table student drop primary key in the student table it will delete the primary key or it will remove the constraint primary key now if the constraint are defined alter table definition or alter creating or alter altering the table structure is called the table level constraint now the next one constraint is the foreign key constraint or a self references constraint the foreign key constraint it represent the relationship between the tables the relationship between the tables matches the primary key in a one of the ta table with the foreign key in another table the foreign key is the column or a group of the columns whose values are match with the primary key of the some other table the table in which 
the foreign key is defined is called as a foreign key table or a detail table or a child table. The table in which the primary key is defined is called the master table or a primary key table or a parent table. The primary key can be defined in either a creating the table statement or at the alter table statement. Now, the foreign key may have the duplicate or a null values. See, the foreign key constraint defined at the column level. Here we see in the example create table result in the bracket roll number number in the bracket 3. This column is match with the primary key table. In the primary table, student table, the roll number have a number data type and size is 3. So, it becomes in a result table, it is a foreign key. So, we can declare as a references student. So, roll number in a result table, it takes the reference from the roll number in a student table. Now, here we see the references in a student comma, the DBMS marks is the another column, number and size is 5, comma C marks is the column number 5. Now, if we make the foreign key at a column level, then references keyword is used. Now, the foreign key constraint defined at the table level means after the table is created, then we declare the foreign key. For example, create table result in the bracket roll number, number in the size 5, comma, DBMS marks, data type is number and in the bracket size is 5. Then, C marks column, then data type is number and in the bracket size is 5, comma. After that, all the columns are declared. After that, foreign key is defined. See, here, how to define the foreign key at the table level. First, see the foreign key in the bracket roll number, then references student table then in the bracket roll number means it takes the references from the student table. Roll number in a student table gives the references to the roll number in a result table. If we make the foreign key at a table level then we write the whole line or whole table is defined after that foreign key in the bracket roll number references student in the bracket roll number is declared. Now, the next is the foreign key constraint, but in which the on delete cascade. First of all, listen to be carefully, the parent record cannot be deleted if the child record exists. For example, if the child table result have the records of roll number 1, 2, 3, then you cannot delete it, the records of the roll number 1, 2, 3 from the student table or the parent table directly. First, you delete the record from the child table and then you delete the record from the parent table because in the child table, the result, the child table result references is existed from the parent table student. You can do this easily using on delete cascade or on delete set null. Using on delete cascade, here we see if the record is deleted in a master table, then all the corresponding records in the detail table will be 
deleted automatically. Means if the record is deleted in a student table, then all the corresponding records in the result table will be deleted automatically when we use the on delete cascade. Here we see in the example create table result in the bracket roll number number size is 5 comma DBMS marks number size is 5 comma C marks number size is 5 in the bracket comma foreign key in the bracket roll number reference is student in the bracket roll number and last one it writes the on delete cascade just add when we define the foreign key here just add on delete cascade word so it use to delete the records from the master table then automatically records will be deleted in a child table. Now here we see in the example the roll number is related with the result table roll number. If we delete the record from the student table then the record will be deleted from the result table automatically. See in the next on delete set null. On delete set null it means if the record in the parent table is deleted then the corresponding record in the child table will not be deleted. But the record in the child table is set to the null. On delete set null is right when the foreign key is defined. For example, create table result in the bracket roll number, number in the size 5. Then database marks, number, size, then C column is defined. After that, foreign key is defined as it is and then at the end on delete set null is written. See in the figure if we delete the records 3 from the student table then result table records 3 contains the null value automatically. See the record third one is deleted here all the values are null. So, on delete set null is used when we remove the records from the student table or a parent table then automatically those records set will be null value. The next one is the business rules constraint. Business rules constraint allows the application of the business rules. It define all the rules of the particular organization needs. It creates the object with the check constraint. The business manager determines or decide the business rules. These rules are applied to the data when the data is being inserted into the table columns. It includes the unique key constraint, not null constraint, check constraint and default constraint. See the first one is the unique key constraint. The unique key will not allow the duplicate value but it permits the multiple null value in the column which is not permitted in a primary key table or a primary key constraint. When we use the unique key constraint then unique index is automatically created. A table can have more than one unique key but the table can have only single primary key. This is the difference between unique key and primary key. See the unique key defined at the column level. For example, create table student. Then in the bracket roll number, number, size is 5 and unique. Just use the keyword unique. Then 
second column name is a name varchar 2 and size is 5 after that bracket is over and then semicolon we just put the keyword unique when the column is defined now the unique key defined at the table level after table is created then after unique key is defined here create table student roll number then name varchar 2 and then size this table contain only two column roll number and name after that define the unique constraint just keyword unique and in the bracket roll number so roll number become a unique now the next one is a null constraint it is used when the actual value is unknown or null value can be inserted into the columns of any data types a null value is different from the blank or zero suppose when we do not know some data in a particular column like phone number column if we don't know the phone number of particular student whose roll number is 3 then Generally, we leave the column as a blank or put the zero, but it will create some problems in a future. When we fetch the data whose column contains the blank, then it will not access the data. See, the differences between string and null value. For example, select star from the student where name is blank when we not enter any data then it will not fetch any records when we fetch the data from the table whose name is blank then this statement will not retrieve any records see when we put null value for example, select star from student whose name is null. See, the null value fetch like this is null. This statement is retrieve all the values, all the records whose values is null. Now, not null constraint. When we use not null constraint, then the table column cannot be left empty. It ensures that the value must be entered into the column when some field is compulsory in the application form, then those field declared as a not null in the table. For example, create table student, roll number, number in the bracket 5 then not null here we apply not null means the roll number is a compulsory field you must have to enter the data into the roll number now the name varchar 2 in the bracket 10 is a not null the name column have also entered the data it must be compulsory field the city varchar 2 in the bracket 10 here the roll number and name field is a compulsory you must have to enter the data into the roll number and name field note is that not null constraint can only be applied at a column level not at a table level the next one the important constraint is the check constraint it creates the object with the check constraint business manager determines or decide the business rules these rules are applied on the data it will apply when the data is being inserted or updated into the table columns check constraint can be applied at the column level or at the table level using to create the table or alter table command the check constraint must be executed using the value which is inserted or updated. 
Here we see the example check constant defined at the column level. For example, to insert the records into the student table whose name start with the character S or P and CT is an uppercase letter. See how to write the query create table student in the bracket roll number, number and then size comma name. Here we apply the check constraint in a name column name bracket 2 in the bracket 10 then check in the bracket column name name like in the single quotation s and then percentage percentage means number of any character after first character s or name like in the single quotation p and then percentage sign means starting with p and percentage means any number of character after p then comma then ct where care to 10 then check constraint check in the bracket column ct is equal to upper upper is a function name we see in the later session the upper in the bracket city means if we put the value in a city it converts in a uppercase letter or a capital letter at the end pin code and number and the size and then bracket is over so here we see the check constraint is apply like this now check constraint Define at a table level. Here we see create table student, then roll number number 3, then we define name column, after that we define CT column, after that we define pin code column. All the column is defined, after that we define the check constraint. This is called the table level constraint. Check in the bracket, we declared the check constraint in a name column. So, the name like in the bracket S then percentage or name like P percentage. Same, we define as a column level, then as it is, we define the check constraint at a table level. Same as CT, CT is equal to upper in the bracket CT. When we enter the data value in a CT column, that it converts into the uppercase and then stored in a CT column. Now the next one, the check constraint is defined using alter table commands. For example, alter table student modify the roll number then number then check constraint in the bracket roll number between 1 to 30. Here we define the check constraint on a roll number and here we return the check constraint in the bracket roll number between 1 to 30 means here the roll number column will contain 1 to 30 roll number only. Means in a one class only 30 students are admitted. After table is existed, the check constraint apply more than one column using alter table command. For example, for example, alter table student modify in the bracket roll number, number and 3. Then we declared the check constraint, check roll number between 1 and 30. So, it will enter 1 to 30 numbers in a roll number column. Then we define the capital letters in a name column. 
So, we define the check constraint in a name column. Here, here we insert the data into the name column, then it will convert into the uppercase letter and stored in a name column. Now, CT, we define the CT column contains only 3 CT, Ahmedabad, Surat and Baroda. So, we define the CT like check constraint, check in the bracket CT and then in, then bracket Ahmedabad, Surat and Baroda. So, here the CT column contains only 3 CT, Ahmedabad, Surat and Baroda only. If we define not in, then now the next one is the default constraint. The default constraint provides a default value to a column when the record is loaded into the table and the column is left empty. For example, to create customer table with the rating field is set to 100 by default. See in the example, create table customer in the bracket customer number then number and the size primary key. The customer number is a primary key. Now the customer name, customer name where k2 then size is 10 is a not null means the name is a compulsory field. Then ct where k2 and then 10 comma rating then number then size 3. It is a default 100 default constraint we declare default constraint like this default and then value here when we insert the record then if we do not enter any value in a rating column then it will store 100 value in a rating column by default for example we insert the record in a customer table. See, in a example, we write the command like insert into customer. Then values in the bracket 101, comma, single quotation Raj Shah, it will store in a name column and then single bracket Surat, it will store in a Surat. CT column, but here we not give the any value 101 Raj Shah Surat and then by default 100 value will be stored in a customer table. Now at the end, thank you all. Today we have been discussed about the SQL data constraint in details with the example. If possible, then I will take some practical session on SQL after syllabus is completed. I will give 3 to 4 lectures of practical after syllabus is completed. In next session, we will start with the remaining topics of this unit, unit 1 in a block 3. If you understand this session and getting some knowledge from this session, then please subscribe Bao Gujarat. Now at the end. Thank you all.